Well, here we are. We've moved on. We've done so many great operations with things today, or every day, really. And today, we're just going to kind of think about products of numbers, right? We've done sums. We've done differences. We're now going to move into products. And products is just a fancy word for what we use for multiplication. Multiplication, right? Or sometimes we say times. That's a slang term for the math, but it is multiplying, right? And it's finding the product of something. And really all this is, is just another form of how we can count numbers. Like things just start getting larger for us. So multiplication becomes a really nice way for counting. In fact, it is literally just a way of skip counting. And when we do that, like even as we start in our younger years in kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and so on, and we're always thinking about like when we skip count, that is really the idea of finding products and multiplication, right? Two, four, six, eight, I'm skip counting by twos. This is a form of counting and it is ultimately some multiplication, right? I can skip count by fives. So if I'm doing my fives, 5, 10, 15, that's a funny looking 5, 20, right? Again, I am counting. And that's what really multiplication and products are all about, is this idea of how we can do that. Now, we have different systems that help us do it, right? To be more efficient. I like to use that word a lot, this efficiency of math. So we have like our number sentences. And in this case, I think a lot of you are used to seeing kind of the X as our multiplication symbol. I use this star because once we start getting into middle school, this will mean something different and it can be confusing. So I really think it's important that from the very beginning, we kind of focus other ways. So we can write it as three times five with the star. We can also say three times five with this dot. Both of these are ways that we can show multiplication as well as the X. So you can use the X, you can use the star, you can use the dot. These are all ways. I like to use these two. I use the star most commonly, um, but don't be afraid to start seeing the dot popping up, right? So that's what this really means. We're like always thinking about how we read things. So again, this is telling me that I have three times five, right? That's, that's really what this sentence says. So once we start to make sense of what our sentences are telling us, we can think about how to solve them. And there are so many different ways that we can solve multiplication problems. One we're gonna look at today is just this idea of what we like to call stars and circles. And it's just another amazing, great way to model the way we solve. So I'm going to just get right back into that. Let's do that. So we have three times five. Yep, I'm gonna focus on the dot today. Three times five. Okay, so circles and stars, just modeling. What this states is I have three circles, one, two, three, and in each circle, I have five stars. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and five. And this is just modeling the way we skip count. In this case, we're gonna skip count by our fives and we're gonna do it three times, right? And we can just count up everything we have in here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So three times five is 15, or again, five plus five plus five is 15, or five, 10, 15, right? Like all these different ways I can do it, but circles and stars really helps me model it. So the first number can be our circles, our second numbers are stars, we can count them all up. 3 times 5 equals 15. So what do we do as always? We just keep practicing. So let's do another one. Let's do 3 times 7. Okay. Well, once again, I'm going to say I have three circles. One, two, three, and seven stars. I'll change the color for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then 
randomly count out to see what our answer is. If I have three groups that have seven each, what is my total? What's all together in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So three times seven is 21. So circles and stars is a really good process. And so what do I always say? Let's keep practicing. So I'm gonna give you a couple. I'm gonna say five times four. Try that one. And again, I always like that idea of like, pause the video and solve it now, and then come back and see. Oh, we already did three, I'm gonna erase that. We've done a lot of threes already. Um, let's do eight times two. So dive in, see what you can do, and then unpause the video and follow along and see what we did. So I'm going to dive in. Circles and stars is a great strategy for me to model this stuff. So that first number five tells me I have five circles. One, two, three, four, Five. And in each circle, I have four stars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just going to count all of our stars, and then that's going to get us our answer of five times four. What is five times four? This is so cool. Like we're already using multiplication so quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So five times four equals 20. Okay, this is cool. I like this. All right, let's go down here. Eight circles. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need two stars in each one. One, two, 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 one, two. Okay. And if I count these out, I can actually, in this case, count by twos, right? So like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So eight times two is 16. So this is what circles and stars is all about. It's a really cool way to help yourself solve any multiplication problem. And you'll see like as we work, there's gonna be different variations of this. Like sometimes our numbers are gonna get larger. So like, what do we do in that case, right? And maybe circles and stars won't be the best strategy. We're always talking about efficiency. Maybe it won't be the best strategy. Um, or maybe it is, right? It's always about like what works well for you. But definitely in some other videos, we're going to explore different ways of multiplying or finding products. But for now, try this out. Practice these ones. And then look for the assignments and the quizzes in Schoology. And as always, ask questions, help us out, let us know what you need, send messages. And I want to thank you all, as always, for watching. Keep up the good work. We'll see you very soon.